Hi, welcome to Exploring the Illusion of Free Will. My name is George Ortega. I'm here with our guest, Nanel. Nanel, great to see you. This is our last episode, at least for a while, because we've been doing this for three years, and we're fed up. We're burnt <laughs> out. You know, we're, we're taking a break. What we're going to do is, like, from now on, we're going to come into the studio, like, once every three months or so. So we're taping an average of, like, let's say a new episode each month. But, like, you know, that's the thing. We've, we've been doing this for a long time. We've got to, like, wait for you to get it. We've got to wait for you to, like, absorb what we've said over the last three years, really think about it. Watch our reruns. And begin to get it. So how you doing? <sighs> this is it. This is it. We could sit here for 28 minutes, all the theories, all the reasons, watch our shows, and you still won't get it. So what are we doing here, George? We're, we're quitting. We're we're yeah, quitting. We're spinning we're wheels. Quitting. We're That's quitting. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're quitting. We're quitting. We're, we're spinning wheels here. I mean, and we can't. And nobody blame thinks you. it matters. To be honest, we can't blame you. It's not your fault. You know, if 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 the universe wanted you to get it, you'd get it. If the universe, like, it's we're not blaming ourselves either because we've explained this really well. But if we explained it much better, you would get it. But we can't explain it any better than the universe has us explain it. So if you're watching this for the first time, this is actually, we're fed up. You missed two and a half we're years of, of episode after episode, YouTube. He's got cause, cause, see, causalconsciousness.com, C-A-U-S-A-L, consciousness.com. His name is George Ortega. I'm Anel Vale. I have a YouTube channel also, E-N-E-L Vale. We're fed up. I could go on and on about why there's no free will. I could make perfect sense. I could... Explain it to a three-year-old, and you still won't get it. So I don't know. You know, we could tell you what we're adhering to our hedonic imperatives and giving up. You won't even know what that means. What do they mean by the hedonic imperative? It's not my problem if you're too dumb and there are too many philosophers and too many priests and pastors and parents telling you there's free will. It's just not fair to us. We have to live our lives. It's not fair to us. The universe has had us do this for over three years. We had a meetup. We started April 7th, 2010. That's over the last three and a half years now. Now, here's the thing. We're not going to give up completely because you know why? It's not up to us. Because this thing is so big, we're compelled. We're not going to, So, in other words, we're going to still have our, our Manhattan meetup once a month, you know, the first Saturday of each month, and, and the White Plains meetup. We're still going to be doing your show in Manhattan live every like maybe three weeks or so god like, god willing you know, universe willing but you know we gotta like we're kind of like we're, we're, we've led the horses to water you guys are the horses we've led you to water we can't make you drink i'm sure someone's gonna call us live in a few weeks ranting and raving about how they make decisions and the bible says this that and the other thing and no 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 they're the self-causer and they're a first causer and uh, they're spiritual. I mean, I give up. I mean, they come up with so many I crazy, cockamamie, desperate straw man arguments. They don't even know what straw man means. So we're talking, you know, it's just not worth the time. I'm getting tired of saying the same thing over there. What's the optimization impaired? What's the hedonic impaired? You explain the unconscious very well. It goes on and on and on. Causality. Who would be depressed if we had free will? They just don't get it. They don't get it, and it's not their fault. And so, like, so why would the universe, like, first deceive everybody so completely? The reason why has... nobody gets it is probably throughout history there have been guys like us who have been trying to convince people to shatter this taboo subject and explain to the public why there's no free will, and there's either no money in it or the two people get so psychologically unhinged and disturbed and depressed like we are, fighting everybody. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it's it. It's not the right time. It's not the right time. So I We're don't even done. think we should talk. we got 23 minutes. Is it even worth trying to, I mean. We could spend 23 minutes just not talking because, like, whatever we say, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> you're not going to, you know, you're going you're gonna to, like, say, no, it doesn't feel good to believe we don't have a free will, so we're going to believe we the have Bible a free will. The Bible says this. First of all, the Bible doesn't say anything. It doesn't even mention free will in it. But you're going to get a different Bible that was printed by some schmuck down the street. It says God gave man free will. That's an interesting point. Because like, I know, mean, you're going to come up with whatever you can. You go back 20 years ago. You know what ago, they're going to say? Let me finish. You know I'm what they're going to say? I want to go on your okay. point. 20 years ago, you could look in the Bible, and you wouldn't have the, the term free will in there. The Bible's created today because of like what we've been doing over the last three years. We're bringing it out in public. Now they're creating Bibles that have the word free will. They're, cha they're changing the word choice or free choice, you know, um, the word choice in the Bible to now free choice and free will. So, like, they're confusing people. 
So if I say one thing, the customers, the, the people, okay, so if we say you guys are coming up with every cockamamie crazy reason why there is free will, you just can't let it go, they're going to say, well, you guys come up with anything you can say. You're just as guilty as saying there isn't free will. But there's one thing. We're adhering to the hedonic imperative. We are emotionally attached to no free will. We have no choice but to go towards pleasure. You are, this isn't going to make any sense, but it makes sense to us. I'll try it one last time. Yes, we say whatever we have to say to convince you that there's no free will. Therefore, you will try to defend yourself and say everything you're going to say. Come up with every kind of research thing. You're going to come up with whatever your pastor says, your mother, you think about why there is free will. But we both have no choice but to say what we're going to say because we're going towards pleasure and feeling the best we can about ourselves. So our arguments are always going to fit under the, what we call the hedonic imperative. No matter what you guys come up with, we admit that we're trying to do the best we can to feel the best about ourselves. Can you admit that? Can they admit that? No. You, you're missing what I'm saying. I got, I got what we're going to say whatever we're trying to say to, to win this battle. and so, But we both have no choice but to try to go towards pleasure and away from pain. You know, it's very surreal. We're doing the best we can at the time. You know what's really surreal? John Searle. No, no, I'll tell you what's really <laughs> surreal. What's really surreal is like, there is like a, a being, call this being God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, that is like sitting up there and it's like, it's like, remember like when you were a kid, you played with like little toy soldiers and stuff and the girls played with dolls. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this being, that's what it does. It, it, it like has us do stuff. It has us like, you know, first it deludes everybody thinking that, that you know, that, that we don't have a, that we have a free will. Then it gets us to like say, no, you don't have a free will. Then it gets us like, you know, debating this back and forth. And that's what this being does. We're like, we're just like little puppets. We're little robots that like this, you know, you know, it's like, it's like when we were a kid, when we were a kid, we played with these little things and we made them say stuff and we made them do stuff. That's reality. That's reality. We've got this being, call it God or whatever, that's doing that. That's amazing. That's what reality, that's what our reality is. And like, you know, we can't, you know, we can't make the, the this God of the universe do what it, it doesn't want to do. We don't know why. Look, you and I are nice guys. George Ortega is a nice guy. N Nell is a nice guy. We did not come to Earth to emotionally and psychologically disturb everybody and unhinge them and get them so riled up at the mere thought of this show or any time I mention in public that I do a show called No Free Will or Exploring the Illusion. For I didn't come to Earth to upset everybody and make them throw things at me and yell at me and say I'm the devil and uh, unhinge, you know, and make to them the so unha unhappy, make people so combative, get everybody all upset. I go to a bar. I mention I, I do a show that, that refutes free will. I got a chair thrown at me. People want to fight with me. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's a taboo subject, okay. But I mean, I and I'm, we think we're right. But I, my my life's purpose is not to come here and upset and you make got your, a chair thrown <laughs> at you. I'm exaggerating, but that's what it feels like emotionally. Yeah. Did you come to Earth to psychologically upset everybody? You know, the Did you irony... come to Earth to destroy everybody's happy life paradigm? You, know, the, you, you know, got doctors, the you got lawyers, this, they got families. The Who irony... needs these two schmucks telling them there's no free will? You know, the irony if they're going to be put in a better mood. Is that we are trying. Why are we doing this show? Why are we doing this? We're to help the world. We're trying to create a better world. We're so we're quitting. We're quitting. We're blaming everyone for No, stuff you win. We like, didn't come here to upset. No, they're not going to win. We're, we're, we're going to be patient. I didn't come again. here to upset everybody. No, when that's I mean, what I mean. When yeah. I mean here, I mean Earth. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're, we, we, you know, the irony, the, the supreme irony in this, like, we're trying to, like, do the world a service. But you know, when we're met with such vicious, if, combative if, opposition... It makes me think I'm not doing the right thing right now. I mean, you can't handle it. Well, thank God, like you know, I recognize Galileo that the mere mention that I don't believe in free will gets a sensitivity worse than if I started talking about all kinds of you know sex at the at the cocktail table, or if I'm at a dinner table and I start talking about religious things. I mean, everything else doesn't get arouse the suspicion and hatred of this topic. I can't believe how sensitive it is. I know. You know why? Because nobody. You can wants talk about anything else. Nobody Anything wants else. to like people like this are is not as taboo as it gets. Let me talk, damn it! People, See? shut You're up! Getting upset. <laughs> people, that's how I feel. Shut up! People don't like to see themselves 
as robots, as puppets. We, we've been conditioned. This is another surreal irony. We've been conditioned by the God or being that, that makes us do everything to like to believe that stuff is up to us. That's I don't what, like to see, believe that. I like so, believing it's not up to me. Uh, that's because, like, you're above, you're above this kind of, like, this mindset that, like, yeah, stuff exactly. is up to me. I'm like, you know, and, but, like, but that's, like, that's how God or the universe or this George, being that creates everything is made people. I know this is a tape show, but it's live. We don't rehearse it. Did you come to Earth to psychologically unhinge people? Is that your goal? No, I came into this Earth to uplift people. Right. To, to show people a better way. You know what the last show I did before this? It was called the Happiness Show. But you're like making people miserable. That's the problem. But why uh, I'm quitting? People don't like you. Go to a doctor. You go to a doctor, right? And the doctor says, "Listen, we've given you some tests. I'm sorry to say this, but you have this or whatever." That's right? what it's like and right so now. So, like, so yeah, so like, but but why do you tell people that? So they can change their ways. So they can take some medication. So they can do well, something. You want to lie to them? To get better. So in other words, like we're yeah. like doctors. We're telling people that stuff that they don't want to hear but stuff that they need to hear, you know, or that they would benefit greatly from hearing. That's I can't a, believe that lying to somebody for their whole life, telling them they have free will, could be advantageous or better for humanity or the planet as a whole than telling them the truth, that there's no free will. I don't understand it, but if I'm going to go around, I had no idea that, that this topic was so sensitive when I started that people turn into a homicidal nut when I start talking that there's no free will I mean, okay, they don't literally throw a chair at me, but emotionally, I'm wounded. They're very upset. Well, I'm wounded I had a too. conversation after uh, a Manhattan Toastmaster meeting. I went out to a bar. I brought this up, and like nine people turned on me. They just turned on me. I know you're lucky they're not stringing us up. Back like in Galileo's day, they they put him in house arrest for the rest of his life. This guy Bruno was saying the same thing. They 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 burned this guy at the stake. You, know, people you can like do whatever you stuff. set your mind to. You're making excuses. You're lazy. How dare you tell me my, my life isn't under my own free will? You make choices every day. They just don't get it. And it's, dude. I never said you don't make choices. Dude, you don't make free choices. Dude, why don't they get it? Because, too whatever's, because whatever's running this show doesn't allow them to get it. Well, that's the real so it's reason. Not our, you know, but like, they're too psychologically the, uncomfortable. God, let's talk God. Let's talk about psychological uncomfort. Discomfort. God is making them not get it. Is making them like. And God is making us. me confront them. I know. And I don't like it. It's not right. It's not fair. I'm quitting. Why I is quit. God doing that? I quit. We, well, of course we're quitting. This is our last episode. If you see us like live him. on Manhattan after this crazy rant, we're going to run this more and more. In other words, this episode. Begging for you to watch our show. We, we're still going to be, we're going to run we taped episodes that we've done before. We can learn all the history and learn all the refutations. But if you see us live, after you watch this episode with us yelling and screaming how we're quitting, can someone call with some encouragement, please, and say, I believe you guys are right. I'm setting you up with an agent. We're going to put some money into this. You guys are on the right path. We're going to make a, 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 a debate show, not on cable access, on regular TV with the producer. You have an agent. We're going to put some money in. We're going to, I mean, what, I mean. Let's do some commercials. All right. Let's, like let's some, get some out pitching. of the, the, the underground black market of my, philosophy. My friend Danell and I. Give us some money. Do something. My friend something. Danell and I have thought about this probably more than any other two people on the planet. We understand this better than any other two people on the planet because, because like, there's, there's some philosophers that understand this, right? But Danell and I don't just understand it. We understand how important it is, okay? Yes. How how world changing it is. So in other words, like, so what do we what do we need? We need somebody who like who's like in CNN or one of these major networks to hire us to have us do a show. And there'll be great we ratings. Need- I can't think of a better gold mine than public debates live on a regular channel. You can have a seven second delay in case we curse or something. With the free will believers versus the non free will believers, let's duke it out. What, we, be, what a debate oh, show. Oh, but they're going to say no, no, no advertiser is going to want to, you know. But the ratings. Another thing. The was, ratings. What, the ratings. The ratings. Another thing is like. The entertainment value. If you, do, if you do documentaries, okay, if you're a documentary film producer, 
invest like five million dollars in a documentary have uh, have us explain it have like some graphics and stuff you can have some major names in it also but you definitely want as a consultants because again nobody understands this again 100 this is 150 what what episode is this yeah trace our meetup uh, you know this is like episode we were told we were crazy 52 we've been doing this for years so anyway you got so psychiatrists like, so psychologists you, treating the marketplace a documentary that just explains it like in major motion pictures throughout the entire world. Let me finish. You know, that like this is the, what the world needs. And then again, like, you know, again, hiring us, hiring my, my co, my guest right now and me to like consult on this, to, to teach, to tell your writers how to present this. Then, then you have this huge audience, and then people would begin to get it. That's what this. Yeah, means. like Hollywood says, is it relatable? How could it not be relatable? We're talking about free will. It's something everybody relates to every day, every second of their life. I wanted to say the other problem is psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, all base their therapy, social workers on on treating patients and what's reasonable, right? There's nothing more unreasonable than believing in free will. So the whole system is wrong. You're treating people raw in the incorrect way. You're causing people to, when they can't do someone's advice, like a psychiatrist or psychologist, well, I think you should work out more, and the person just can't do it, they feel badly about themselves because they say, what's wrong with me? I can't will this. Right. So the whole thing is, you know, I mean, don't get me started. And I want to address, I want to get surreal again. I want to get very philosophical, very fundamental. This is for people who get it. This is for people who understand what we've been saying for three years. Oh, let's do it. the commercial last so, time. Yeah. Well, no, this is like, the idea is like, why would the world be like this? Why would this God, you know, first of all, delude the entire world, thinking, you know, making There's people no think money that in stuff it. That's is up why. to them? Dude. That's why. Dude, listen to what I'm saying. Why would God do this to the world? Why would God? And this, this isn't about money. The this universe. is about God. Yes, this is about the universe. Because the why would the universe I'm, delude us in this I'm way? I'm telling you why. The number one ally to free will is capitalism. Dude, the universe, God creates capitalism. God can do, the universe can do anything it wants. It, like, it can, you know, it can okay, do. Okay, fine. So the, it, it should, the universe should desense, uh, de-emphasize money. It should, if the universe wanted the no free will movement to work, money wouldn't be that important because clearly capitalism, I deserve this, you deserve that, I did this, pay me that, I'm the market rate, I deserve this. It's all based on capitalism. Free will is behind capitalism. Well, all right, but like, and the newspapers I would, saying Bernie Madoff is going to hell. He did this. Jerry Sandersky did that. Osama bin Laden is evil. He's wrote, rest, you know, Osama, Saddam Hussein is they're all roasting in hell. It sells papers. Capitalism is the number one ally. Now, why, you're saying why is the universe conspiring to make money so important? I would say right? even more than that. I would say there there doesn't have to be that dichotomy, that 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 opposition between capitalism and the truth that nobody has a free will. In other words, like well, the economic system is based on free will. Understanding that we don't have a free will could actually create a more effective and efficient economy because you know instead of fighting each other over all this stuff we'd be much more cooperative we wouldn't blame yeah, each other yeah but when you're other. talking about market rates and who gets paid for what it's based on free will and performance numbers quarterly numbers monthly sales numbers profits so it's ba you know i have a solution to that which is just freely admit that you earned the money you know it was luck publicly disclosed you still get the money but it's not your free will. So you, everything would be the same. There would just be – see, now we're getting into – the ref, we're just fed up that no one can get this. We're just fed up. It's a consciousness thing. I don't think the economic system has to change. But it doesn't have to You're change. You're not going to pay everybody to – see, here we go to the last topic that we're going to have to work on. It's the economic system of the no, – people are not getting it because of the monetary – capitalistic society that we live in. Uh, let me tell you something. That's why. There's like these books out like Peak Oil, The Environment, and The Economy. That basically over the next 20, 30, 40 years, our world is going to be going through more changes than the world has ever been through because of the, the consequences this is one of, of them. three factors. This is the number one no, thing. What I'm saying is that because of the economy, you know, the, the, the global economy change and because of peak oil and, you know, we're going to have to do with much less energy and because of the climate change and all, it's in the world's best interest to get this now because what happens is if we get this now and over the next but 10, George, 20 we're years, finally getting finish. to it. Thank if, God, if we, in our last if we, episode. If we get this now, 
then we can face this very challenging future that we're going to have to all live with less fine. But if we can do this without the blaming and the recriminations and the vengeance and the revenge. But if your parents earned a lot of money and built big houses and, and have businesses and there's no free will, how could you rightfully say to the next generation, well, you're starting out way ahead, you're starting out way behind? You have to address the, the, the what, economic system what, at some point what, because – the reason why people – you keep saying, why is nobody getting it? No, we, nobody's getting it because the money system, which you say doesn't matter and we're all going to get along, it's BS. If you don't address capitalism and the economic system with this issue, you're going nowhere. The fact is you haven't addressed it, so we're going nowhere. That's what why I, nobody's getting it. What I'm saying Fine, is Fine, like, pay everybody the same. That's not going to work. What I'm saying is over the next 40 years, and like it'll, it, it, it may be sooner, it may, you know, may be over the, the next capitalist. 20, 30 years. But the idea is like the world is going to change so fundamentally that it's going to be in the world's best interest to get this now. In other words, if we go through the changes that are happening and we don't get this, there's going to be a lot of competition. There's going to be a lot of blaming and, and fighting over resources. I mean, you know, everybody's That's what have the to free do. market is. I know, but you got to understand, everybody, the, the people who are very rich now in 30, 40 years, and they're not going to be rich because, like, because the only way we're going to solve climate change and the global economic um, challenges we have in the peak oil is Again, by Again, my co-host is dancing system. around the issue. He's, I'm going to call him the, da the free will economic system dancer. George, let's answer this in six minutes. If there's no free will, which there isn't, and everybody gets it, how will you pay people to do what? That's, that's something that people are going to have to figure out. You know, like we, we don't have the answer. That's why to that. they don't get it. Nobody can figure it out. I realize that, but what you what you have to understand is like that they're going to have to get it because the world is going to be changing so fundamentally. In other words, like they're not going to have the the luxury of 30, 40 years from now saying like, well, we don't want to get it because it's going to affect our personal finances. The world is going to be changing so dramatically they won't be able. That's to great. Say that now anymore. answer the question: How are you going to pay people in the no free will model? Stop going into this political it's not up amorphous to me. nebulous. What? It's not up to me. It's going to be – Well, uh, until you get it, no one's going to understand. There's no – they love money too what much. What I'm saying is like you're saying that like they're going to have a choice whether to get it or not because of the economy. I'm saying that the, the We new, know there's the no free will. How are you going to pay people so without free will? It's going to be so fundamentally different than what we know now I think, that it's not going to be a factor. I think the economic system will stay exactly the same. <laughs> it's the human consciousness that will change. Nobody will believe in free will and will go about their day basically acting as if – but they will feel a kinder, gentler uh, texture and tone to humanity that everybody knows it's luck or no luck running the show. According to the IPCC. Because you can't say I'm going to pay everybody the same. Intergovernmental All right, George, panel on climate change. Fine. All right. Nobody's by, getting it. By We're 2050, at, we have to reduce greenhouse gas okay, that's levels. Great. 90% of what they were in nine, 1990. You know how huge a task is? That's going to be a completely You're like the audience. World. You keep going on and on about it's something. Be, I'm asking no, you a question. What I'm saying is, like, you're saying people aren't going to get this because, like, they're, they're, we're tied into capitalism. Yes. What I'm saying is, like, in Just 20, play with me for what, a minute. No, no. What I'm saying in 20, 30, 40 years, the existing capitalist system, the existing economic system, the existing the, the system of government will not exist. Because it's Can we do a fourth show? No, 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 no. George, do you admit that people don't get this? They don't get this. Yes, of course. Do you admit the reason why is because of the money system? The, the, the economic system is the number one ally to free will. That's part I'm of asking it. you why are people not getting it? And so you're not bringing up the, the, the part compensation. Part of it is religion. Part of it is like – No, it, it's it, not religion. Oh, yeah. No, no. Come on. Like, All right. That's one of them. That's But huge. the number one reason is if there's no free will – how are you going to compensate people for their jobs? I wouldn't even say it's number one because, like, people don't even know, like, you've thought about that. All like right, so a millionaire says there's no free will. How is he entitled to be a millionaire if he has a big That's company? That's what I'm saying. In 20 – now that – No, million, now. Right. Mark now, Cuban's not going right. to get this. He's not going to say I, I did everything under no right. free will. And, and if Donald somebody, Trump don't believe – Right. If he says – Sam, Sam, maybe you can help us. You wrote a book saying there's no free will. How can you earn money and profit from a book – that says there's no free will when you wrote the book and you're taking the profits from it. If there's no free will, you didn't do anything. He's not deserving of I it. I understand that. Well, address it for once. You well, dance, I, dance, dance. I, no, what I'm saying. Should Sam Harris take the profits from his book? Yes or no? Yes and no, partly. I don't know. It, it's something that future generations are going to have to figure out. I mean, that's but the they're thing. not getting it because this is the block. You're putting the cart before the horse. Nobody's getting it because they can't wrap but their what mind. I'm saying, what I'm saying is like now they don't get it 
because of that. In 20, 30 years, they're They'll not never g- get it because of that. You're going to tell me to give up the business I built and all the money I earned because some schmuck in cable access says there's no free will no, I'm and we all have you, to get paid the I'm same? I'm going to tell you, you have to give it up because the world is changing. The, our, our current economy... No, I like the nice not, hotels. Like, fuck, who, who the hell are you? I'm not... It's not my about My kids are in me. private school. No, change. I'm not it's doing it. I, don't, I believe in free will then. I believe in free will because <laughs> the hedonic imperative. I'm not giving up my money. I'm you, not giving up my money because you be say there's choice. no free... It won't be your choice. It won't be your choice. He won't change his mind. He's going to believe in... Today, we have this choice that, you know, we can say, like, we fine, need, we can believe this. We need in thousands 20, of shows years, about the money. He, he world. never wants to discuss it. Never. Because, Ever. It's the first it's time. it's not up to us. It's George, not up to us. they're not getting it. Of course they're not getting it. Because like, but but you saying, don't address the money. In 20 or 30 years, the money issue will not be a problem because the world will have changed so not fundamentally. Not one single person is going to give up their hard work and their, and their effort to make money because suddenly some guys say there's no free will. Good luck with that. Good luck. You're gonna. Go, you want this to win or lose? It's You're, gonna win eventually. Not if you don't address the, the, the economic system. Never. But like, it's not up to me and you. In other words, let's it is say, now. Let's it is say, now. Let's say we it addressed it completely. Now. Going forward, it is. Let's say we addressed it completely. You and I know that it still wouldn't convince anybody because people aren't prepared to there know. There has to be in a system where everybody agrees now, there's there no will free will and people still keep their money. It's not going to happen because the, the, the world is going to change. We're like, no, you that's won't have the, that. This nobody is going to give up their family the inheritance. The rich, when people are starving, the, the, we're going into the world that's going to be vastly different. That, that kind of world's not going to exist anymore because it's not sustainable. You can't have people right, George, that are very rich George, okay. controlling everything. All right, think whatever you want. You're yeah. obviously, you haven't convinced me that you have any kind of plan to address this issue. We're both quitting. <laughs> I might start another show only about no free will and what to do about the economic. That's all, all we're right. going to talk about. No free will and what to do about compensation. Again, no free will and what we're going to do. We're going to discuss that a thousand times. You're going to say it every time. All You're right. going to write it down a thousand times a day until you come up with some plan to address this issue. Would you just think everyone's going to either get paid the same or give away their money because you say there's no free will? Right, They're, never gonna They're, never gonna They're never going to admit. They're never going to admit. They're never going to admit. We got twenty it. seconds. We got to end the show. It's I, been quit. Great. It's I quit. <laughs> I quit. You can't quit. The show's over. I quit. We'll be back. Like, he doesn't want to. I'm going to run my own like, show. Whatever. He, and like, we'll the be problem back is him. Get this. this may take decades, but eventually you'll get it. We're going to talk about it. the entire world is going to be much happier for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you like once a month. We're not going to give up on this. We're not going to. It's going to be a great world. <laughs> we'll see you then.